In 2016, a garbage crisis hit the city of Lviv. As a result of the closure of the local landfill, waste was disposed of in neighboring regions. To help alleviate this problem, Lviv activists developed an interactive map with waste recycling sites in the city. Sorting can reduce the amount of garbage you throw into a bag every two or three days by 30 to 40 percent. Accordingly, if we reduce the amount of garbage, then less needs to be dumped in a landfill. At first, project participants came to recycling sites in Lviv personally. They checked what was taken for recycling and how. The data was mapped. Soon the project spread throughout Ukraine. Each user is an active member of our community. They can walk around the city, see the recycling site, come and check whether the prices match and if all categories are listed correctly. If not, then they can make changes. Recycle Map has been an independent project for two years now. The only thing required from developers is technical support. Now they dream of creating both a phone app and a game. Garbage sorting is a very complex thing. Many projects need to be connected to marketing, promotion and training. Volunteers of the Ukraine Without Garbage organization found out that Ukrainians know little about waste sorting and recycling. When people come to us, they get answers to their questions, why and how to sort, and where does the recyclable material go. This is a nice space where it is easy to implement. Every year, more and more Ukrainians join eco-initiatives. Awareness of the consequences of unsustainable resource use is increasing. Two years ago, about 20 families came to us every day, and we thought it was a victory. Nowadays, especially on the weekend, more than 300 families come. We understand the need to increase the number of these waste recycling sites. Everything can be handed over for recycling. For example, volunteers offer to make reusable shoe covers from broken umbrellas. Reported by Anna Romanovska for UATV.